Hi, I'm Erica Hughes from Data School Cohort 20, and I'm going to be showing you how to create a barcode chart in Tableau. It's also sometimes referred to as a Gantt chart or a strip plot. It's usually used for showing frequency or concentration of things. This is the chart I'll be showing you how to make today. It uses the Superstore dataset to show you when orders were made, or alternatively, it highlights the gaps when no orders were made. The colouring provides additional information about which time period was the most or least profitable. You can make this chart in just three steps. So I'm going to open up a new sheet. And the first step is to bring in our date field onto the columns shelf. We actually want to look at the date as a continuous field. So I'm going to click on the drop down arrow and go down to the second section where we have continuous dates and I'm going to select week number. Once you've selected that, you should see something like this with an axis along the bottom and a line for each week that contains data within your data set. If your chart doesn't look like this, then head over to the marks card and make sure to set the mark type to Gantt bar. The next step is to drag in your dimension. In this case, we're going to be using region and pop that on the rows shelf. You should get something that looks like this. I'm just going to make sure that it fits the entire screen. Lastly, we can add to this chart by bringing a field onto the color shelf. In this case, I'm going to grab profit and put that on color. This gives us some additional detail and some additional insights as to which weeks were the most profitable. For example, there was a particularly unprofitable week in the East region in November of 2019. You can play around with the fields that you bring onto the rows or colors shelf, but the key thing to remember is that you want to have a continuous field on your columns. So this could be a continuous date, but you could also look at the concentration of a measure like profit. Since profit is a measure, it's been aggregated, so we only see one line for each region. To get more lines, we need to bring some more detail into the view. So for example, we could look at all of the different products and drag that onto the detail shelf. Now we can see that most items will make a profit or loss within this range, but there are some outliers in every region. So there we have our two different types of Gantt chart, one showing frequency, and the other showing concentration. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you now feel confident to try out some barcode charts for yourself. For more examples of how you can use barcode charts and a link to this workbook, make sure to check out the links in the description. If you enjoyed this video, you'll also enjoy my colleague Fuad's video on how to make a donut chart.